you were at Lake Rant where I rant about whatever my $15 a month plus patrons want me to rant about. You can get one of these by being one of those. This one's for Arkin who says, rant about Yoko Kano and if you have one, a favorite song by her. Yoko Kano is legend. She is a god amongst us. I, first of all, if you're a fan of Yoko Kano, I implore you to read the article, the interview with her in, I believe it was Esquire or something. It was, it was a, like an American publication, but uh, just look up Yoko Kano interview. You'll probably find it. It was this massive article that goes through like her whole history, her upbringing, the weird, eclectic set of influences that she had throughout her life. Um, the travel that she did to try to discover new genres and stuff, and, like, just the fact that she's somebody who, like, pulls from everywhere. And that's what makes her music so interesting, is that she's kind of a musical chameleon. It's like she has this ability to just look at a genre, look at something, and to grasp basically how it works, what is good about it, what is the appeal immediately and then to replicate it effectively you know and like a lot of it is basically just imitation i mean she has plenty of songs that are practically rip-offs you know she has some some stuff that's like basically just bjork songs reimagined um you know or jazz songs reimagined and stuff like that so it's not as though it's completely coming out of nowhere but it's the ability to replicate that kind of stuff you know, so effectively and to cover so many different genres that makes her interesting. Um, Cowboy Bebop, obviously one of the greatest fucking soundtracks of all time. The fact that this Japanese woman who has never, like, never even listened to jazz growing up, who had, like, very little understanding of the genre, learned about it for the sake of making this soundtrack and then produce something that is widely considered one of the best jazz albums of recent decades is staggering. And uh, there's so much variety on those albums. Like, it's not just jazz it's and, and like, big band and all that stuff. There's, there's rock music. There's a fucking heavy metal loudness song. There's, like, uh, there's just all kinds of shit. And so much of it is so fucking good. And I love the, the vocalist she collaborates with. Um, you know, Call Me, Call Me with Steve Conti might be my might be my favorite off the albums. Or Gotta Knock a Little Harder from the movie soundtrack. That one's fucking great. You know, I tend to like the vocal songs, but there's also just lots of memorable like I mean there's even like electronic stuff, like the that Ed theme that like everybody uses in videos that like that's not a jazz song but it's in there you know just so much eclec eclecticity is that a word eclecticism i don't know what the uh plural of eclectic is anyways um so, yeah, there's there's all kinds of interesting songs on that. I love the Arjuna album. That one mixes, like, like orchestral and, like, tribal kind of sounds and, like, religious-sounding music um, in interesting ways. I love the song, uh, fuck, what's it called? It's, like, track two off of that, the seven-minute song. I love all her, like, weird made-up languages and shit. Um... You know, I rapped over one of the songs from the Arjuna soundtrack on my song Heat Death. The one that's like... Um, that's a good one. Um, you know, Turn A Gundam soundtrack is more like traditional orchestral stuff and, and Escaflone as well, but still lots of great memorable songs on those. Um... She also just has, like, the best musicians. Like, she has fucking Tsuneo Imahori doing guitars on a bunch of her stuff, which I talked about in my video about him, the uh, the guy who did the music in Trigun and Hajime no Ippo. Um, she's got... Oh, I'm trying to think of more of my favorite. Of course, there's the fucking... All the, all the goddamn Ghost in the Shell standalone complex music is fucking great. Wolf's Rain. Fucking... Even Terror and Resonance has some good music. And that show sucks. Uh, let's see, Yoko Kano soundtracks. Now I just keep getting songs in my head. I'm just sitting here, Stray! 
Um, fuck. What are some more Yoko Kano soundtracks? So many fucking good soundtracks. She did, of course, of all all sorts of Macross music. Lots of the uh, lots of the pop songs. You can always tell a Yoko Kano pop song because the bass is overpowering. So much more bass than is normal in a pop song. Um, when you hear her describing like the mentality that she went into, like making the Macross Plus soundtrack in her interview, where she was like trying to create these like mind controlling drones and like get the audience under a spell or some shit, it's fucking fucking ludicrous. Let's see. She did some space dandy music, kids on the slope, uh, Aquarian Evol. I'm trying to find another one that I would really know. Oh, Darker Than Black. That's a pretty fucking solid soundtrack. Um, yeah, I would say that my favorites pretty much are Cowboy Bebop and Arjuna. Those are the ones that I've, like, listened to on their own regularly. I mean, I have listened to the Ghost of the Shell Standalone Complex album, um, a bit, but Arjuna and, and Cowboy Bebop just have so many fucking tunes on them, man, um. Bebop in particular. I guess if I had to say what my favorite song by her is, it's probably Call Me, Call Me, or Gotta Knock a Little Harder. Those are just super memorable. There's also What's Up, Sweet Cakes, Who's Hip, Anyway, Those Girls Are Easy. What you gonna do, little buckaroo? Hey, you better ask around. Anyway, that's enough of that.